No results. The 2.15 at Cheltenham, won by Saxon Farm, 12 to 1, 10th of October, 40 to 1, and Alistair O'Mavras, 10 to 1. 2.30 Hexham, first Bonnie Gold, 13 to 8 favourite, second Clickham Lad, 3 to 1, and third Bold Image, 11 to 1. So there in the spots, Chinrulla, he's been here a few times, hasn't he? He's uh, ridden by the trainer's son, Kieran O'Toole, and they do tell me that this horse is working better than he's ever worked in his life. He's had various problems, he's been hobdayed, and he ran on two consecutive days uh, at the festival last time, second on both occasions. He has been a winner here of the Arkle Chase when he trotted up in the mud, and they tell me that he's been knocking spots off a couple of bumper winners recently. It'd be nice to see him come back, wouldn't it? There with the star, Colonel Heather, just behind Chinrulla. Yellow colours and the star, Colonel Heather, just gone out to the right. He's running for Mrs John Magna, who is in fact the daughter of Vincent O'Brien. And again, this horse likes good ground, although they say as he's getting older, he's uh, starting to go in better ground. They don't think he'll be inconvenienced. Frank Cott has the mount, already one winner to his credit so far at this meeting. And Colonel Heather, a very decent horse. A plain individual, but uh, handsome is as handsome does. There was the, behind him, the other Irish runner, just out to the left. This is Aha Clear, which uh, Peter says is Gaelic for Dublin. And uh, good sort, I liked him in the paddock. Willie Mullins is riding this one. He's a half-brother to our Greenwood. You may remember that one running over here quite a few times. He, in fact, even carried Aidan O'Connell round Liverpool, or halfway round, before they both ended up rolling in the grass. This one uh, ran three times last season, winning once and finishing second. And he's done very well. He obliged at Wexford in February, winning by five lengths from uh, Kilinic King, the sixth. Loves heavy ground. It may not quite be heavy enough for him and stays forever, this one. And there's Lady Buttons in the cross belts. Lady Buttons, who is trained by Jill Sanderson. Well, this mare will not quite be good enough, I don't think, in this company. She really wants a lot faster ground. Nigel Tutty riding her, but she is a useful mare. Keep your eye on her because I think she'll be... Uh, obliging later on but just look how big that pastry brush is going out to the right there massive horse but it sounds as if uh, Dick Smalley calling him 50 there 15 there is Rod Munro Wilson keep your eye on him he'll give you some fun let's join Peter thank you Richard yes the white flag up they're under orders and they're away Sparkford the first to show with Old Tide Cottage the 15-year-old taking it up as they come now to the first of the 22 fences. Tide Cottage, and really taking him along too. Earl's Brig jumped it second, then sparked from the drunken duck and Lady Buttons, and behind them in pastry brush, they come to the second. Tide Cottage. From the drunken duck and Earl's Brig and Sparkford, and then comes pastry brush and Gale Warning, on there inside Lady Buttons and then Aha Clear and Sub Rosa and Ellie Ogarty. And uh, Ellie Ogarty is Colonel Feather. Back markers at the moment are Double Bluff and Chinrulla. As Tide Cottage runs down to the next plain fence. The one before the water. Tide Cottage from the Drunken Duck and Earl's Brig and Sparkford and Lady Buttons. Gale Warning. Pastry Brush on the outside of Gale Warning. And Lady Buttons and Arthur Clear and Ellie Ogarty and Colonel Heather. And Sub Rosa and Compton Laird and Royal Partner. And still Tide Cottage as they come to the first of the ditches. Tide Cottage from Earl's Brig, the Drunken Duck. Drumming it fourth, Pastry Brush, but on the inside, Sparkford between horses is Gale Warning. Coming to the sixth, Tide Cottage from Earl's Brig, and the Drunken Duck, and Sparkford on the inside, Pastry Brush, Aha Clear, Gale Warning, behind Gale Warning, Lady Buttons, then Ellie Ogarty and Colonel Heather, and then Compton Lad. They come to the second ditch now, it's 15 year old, Tide Cottage. Jumps it from Earl's Brig. Drunken Juck jumped it third, and they're all safely over that ditch with 
Yorkshire Mariner, the back marker. Race to a fence at the top of the hill now, the eighth of the 22. Tide Cottage jumps it clear of Earl's Brig. The Drunken Duck, they're all safely over that one. In fourth is Gale Warning. Just behind Gale Warning is Sparkford. And then Aha Clear and Pastry Brush and Compton Lad. And behind them, Ellie Ogarty and Lady Buttons and Chinrulla. Over the ninth, Tide Cottage. Well clear over the ninth. Slight mistake there by Earl's Brig. Running down towards fence number 10, Tide Cottage, clear of Earl's Brig, The Drunken Duck, Gale Warning, Pastry Brush, Compton Lair, Ellie Ogarty, and Aha Clear. Behind them, Lady Buttons, then Sparkford. So running now to the fence that will be the second last on the next circuit, number 11 this time, and Tide Cottage in the lead from Earl's Brig and the Drunken Duck. Then comes Gale Warning, behind Gale Warning, Pastry Brush and Ellie Ogarty. Then Chin Ruller going well, behind Chin Ruller was Lady Buttons and Naha Clear, and then Colonel Heather and Compton Laird well in contention. And Pastry Brush a faller there and has brought down Lady Buttons. Pastry Brush a faller, brought down Lady Buttons, hampered some Rosa. Uh, pastry Brush's riders up on her feet over the 12th and it was Tide Cottage who led from Earl's Brig, Ellie Ogarty, the Drunken Duck, behind them Gale Warning, then Compton Laird and Chin Ruller and then a little gap to Double Bluff and Colonel Heather, behind them Aha Clear, behind Aha Clear is Loyal Partner, behind Loyal Partner is Sparkford, Sub Rosa and uh, Yorkshire Mariner and both riders up all right, both horses uh, all right too and uh, just continuing, one of them continuing riderless and the other going up to the top bend and still old Tide Cottage coming down to number 13 in the lead from Earl's Brig, Ellie Ogarty going strongly with Caroline Beasley, then the Drunken Duck and then Chinrulla going well, Compton Lad on the inside and then comes uh, Gale Warning, behind Gale Warning, getting a reminder there is Colonel Feather and then Double Bluff on the inside over the water and Tide Cottage from Earl's Brig, Ellie Ogarty, behind Ellie Ogarty, Compton Laird, Drunken Duck and Chin Ruller, behind them Colonel Feather, Gale Warning, Colonel Heather and then on the inside uh, Double Bluff and over that ditch still clear is Tide Cottage, the 15 year old uh, hero jumping this 16th clear now of Earl's Brig in second, Ellie Ogarty is third, Compton Ladder close fourth, then comes Gail Warning and Chin Ruller, and behind Chin Ruller, Double Bluff and the Drunken Duck, and then Colonel Heather as they come to the final ditch, six from home in the Christie's Fox Hunters. And Tide Cottage lands in the lead from Earl's Brig. Then Ellie Ogarty still going strongly. Caroline Beasley, so is Dermot Brown on the grey. Compton Laird as they come to the fence at the top of the hill now. Five from home. Tide Cottage lands in the lead from Earl's Brig. Ellie Ogarty, Compton Laird, Gale Warning, Chin Ruller. Behind Chin Ruller, double bluff, and then the drunken duck. And then comes Colonel Heather. Running downhill now towards the next four left to jump in the Christie's Fox Hunters. And it's still... Tide Cottage, but being pressed now by Ellie Ogarty. Tide Cottage lands in the lead from Ellie Ogarty, second. Then comes Compton Laird moving into third. Earls Brig under pressure on the inside. Then comes Chin Ruller under pressure. And then Gale Warning. It's still Tide Cottage as they come down now towards the third last fence in the Christie's Fox Hunters. The 15-year-old Tide Cottage being chased now by Ellie Ogarty and Caroline Beasley as they race towards the home turn. Coming there strongly again is Earls Brig. Then comes Compton Laird. They're racing round the home turn. Tide Cottage being joined by Ellie Ogarty. Then Earls Brig and then comes Compton Laird into the home stretch. Two fences left to jump, but Caroline Beasley bidding for Cheltenham Turf history, attempting to become the first lady to win at the festival. She comes to the second last on Ellie Ogarty in the lead. Caroline Beasley is going to jump it in the lead. She jumps it a length clear. The Bowles Brigger makes a mistake. Compton Laird is third. And now coming to the final fence, Ellie Ogarty in the Christie's Fox Hunters. Four lengths clear of Earl's Brig and Compton Laird. Ellie Ogarty jumps it clear. She's getting a tremendous reception already. Ellie Ogarty is striding up towards the line. She's being traced by Earl's Brig and Compton Laird. They'll never catch her. Ellie Ogarty striding away to win the Christie's Fox Hunters of 1983 in tremendous style. And up the line, Ellie Ogarty and Caroline Beasley won its second Earl's Brig.
and third comes to the lead, so festival history is made. The drunken duck runs on strongly to be fourth, heading the gallant old Tide Cottage just out of fourth place. Then came Sparkford and Chinrella and Colonel Heather, then Double Bluff and Aha Clear, and behind them Sub Rosa, behind Sub Rosa was Gale Warning.